um, I think it's um, Angus and Robertson or someplace like that um, uh, on the ground floor. Um, I, I saw I saw his book, but I didn't have the money at the time. Uh, maybe next time. Anyway, it's more more of um, more Jean, Jean and Paul, I think. This uh, this cost me uh, fifty bucks. I wonder if I can send it to a bookbinder and get it fixed. They'd have to uh, remove all the pages and restaple them and something like that. Do they have people that do? There's Tommy Thayer, ex tour manager and uh, official um, replacement for uh, Ace. Uh, until he really replaced him when he left the band. I think there could have been some friction there between um, both lead guitarists. But um, as his um, as his official uh, impersonator, he could also impersonate his style. And from the uh, the more faithful fan, the fans that um, know Ace how Ace performs, um, they have said that uh, he's actually very good at um, playing playing the guitar and moving around, strutting around and uh, singing um, as an exact likeness um, to the original Ace. Um, there is a, he has a few solos on the new album. Um, Actually, he's singing. His singing is truly. I think it's more more his own own style than uh, Ace's. Uh, he's got his own voice. Uh, uh, there's all the albums I showed you last early this morning. Apparently there was a Kiss beer you can buy. That looks like a spirit. It's some sort of spirit. I'm not sure if you can still get those. I'll ask at the local bottle though, but there was a Kiss. They had their own brand of uh, beer that they bought out. And I remember when they had their own ice block. I, my mother used to buy the uh, box for me. A box of those for me uh, when I was younger. Um, and they bought those back. And um, I brought one. I uh, uh, started having it as I was walking away from the um, the um, entertainment centre. They they still had the um, the can well the um, the food you know the fast food stalls where they uh, the canteens um, just outside the um, the entrance. The, the um, internal entrance that that, that um, opens up to the uh, the um, I guess it's the uh, it's a, the stage where, where, where um, all the uh, seats are, sort of like the arena or stadium. Um, it's usually where they um, have old basketball matches too. Um, they they have to move the seats back for that because it's on the floor. Uh, this is on the stage and they have people all over the floor and I was sitting in some seats in the um, in the middle front on the left but not so close to the front that I couldn't see the um, stage properly. They, they had some seats close to the front, I don't know how they'd see the stage except they, they also had um, large screens uh, showing them on the um, showing them on the um so you could see them better especially if you're sitting at the back right at the back um 
Yeah, Kiss Beer. I haven't tried it or well, all the alcohol, but I, I've had the ice block. Um, that's it, Kiss Cruise. I did not have the money for that. That's expensive. That's like that's half a grand, um, half of ten grand, I think. Um, to go on that, you had to buy your own, uh, as well as tickets. You probably have to buy your own accommodation. And it was um, in Florida, a Florida, on a Florida cruise ship, um, where Kiss would um, be doing their shows and uh, visiting um, each of the people that um, bought tickets. Uh, saying hi to them, meeting them, um, sounds a bit daunting, <laughs> I'm more, these days I'm more nervous about meeting uh, celebrities uh, than I was when I was younger and um, more foolish, anyway that's that book, I hope to get it fixed, um, does anyone remember a video when I was um, talking about Vampire, the Masquerade, the game. Um, that's where um, all these videos started when I was talking about... Then I just started getting stuff, more and more stuff out. Uh, Vampire, the Masquerade. I was talking about the um, anti-Bolivians who I believe are the third or second uh, I'll just look it up. Slumming. They had a... Oh wow. Let me read out the uh, traditions for the vampires. The first tradition, the masquerade. Thou shalt not reveal thy true nature. Those not of the blood, doing so shall renounce thy claims of blood. The second tradition, the domain. Thy domain is thy own concern. All others owe thee respect while in it. None may challenge thy word while in thy domain. The third tradition, the pregnancy. Thou shalt only sire another with the permission of thine elder. If thou createth another without thine elder's leave, both thou and thy pregnancy shall be slain. The fourth tradition, the accounting. Those thou create are thine own children. Until thy pregnancy shall be released, thou shalt command them in all things. Their sins are thine to endure. The fifth tradition, hospitality. Honour one another's domain when thou cometh to a foreign city. Thou shalt present thyself to the one who ruleth there. Without word of acceptance, thou art nothing. The sixth tradition, destruction. Thou art forbidden to destroy another of thy kind. The right of destruction belongeth only to thine elder. Only the elder among thee shall call the blood hunt. I just thought that was interesting. It's kind of like their, um, their ten, well, their commandments. They're not quite ten of them though. Only six. Um, looking, looking, looking. Oh, here it is. The third generation were the anti-Diluvians. Now I looked it up and in Diluvian means of the deluge, as in the great flood. And they're possibly talking about the one uh, connected to Noah's Ark, most probably. Um, anti, ant, T, Diluvian means before the flood. there. Just want to share that with you. Um, I could show you the, um, the Wikipedia entry. Uh,
fuck's sake. Um, having problems with the, um... Yeah, it's very slow. Here, you can see where I looked it up here. I said it was about water, so I was pretty close. Just read this here, it's on the White Wolf Wiki. It's got the meaning as it, as it is in the uh, game. I think I've run out of coke. Oh, here it is. Antediluvians are sent to be vampires of incalculable power, each of whom survived the biblical deluge from the Latin ant before the Luvian flood, hence Antediluvian, one who comes before the flood. See? They have explained the meaning again there. And um, it's the way that they said it. Um, it's kind of um, interesting. Uh, some of these survivor vampires are considered to be founders of the 13 clans. Technically, since antediluvian literally means before the flood, the term antediluvian can also be applied to any Cainite who dates before the great flood, such as Cain or the second generation, but it normally refers to the third generation. If you're listening, watching one of my earlier videos, I, I had a I had already explained about the um, bit, um, the vampire Cain, Cain, uh, who is the um, the granddaddy of all vampires. He's the um, he is the very first um, made by God when he murdered his own brother Abel, and he was uh, cursed uh, thrice, three times by the angels who tried to get him to repent by three angels he was cursed three times um, first with the aversion to uh, sunlight second with the um, um, a beast um, he would have um, some um, hungry um, sort of like uh, monster implanted within him um, within his spirit I guess or to replace his spirit um, lack of spirit um, that would need to feed on blood hence their uh, first for blood and um, uh, did I mention sunlight yes sunlight and um, aversion to fire as well so that they were the free curses um, uh, otherwise he was forced to walk forever within the land of Nod until he emerged and um, um, settled within one of the first uh, cities or something like that. Um, what does it say here? No, there's the same anymore here. Mm. Well, if you want to read that, you know where to look for it. Uh, again, Hannah is a uh, vampire apocalypse. The end of days. Where they just did, all disappeared. Apparently. Anyway, moving along. Okay, I'll read to you the um, each of the antediluvian anti clans. Um, I read the clans out to you the other night, but they, they were the main ones. They, they have some extra clans here. Um, Asemite, I know what that means. Ruja, I mentioned that. Followers of Set. They were the ones that, um, the head of that clan was actually, um, Set, I think. 
Um, and he cursed the Silent Striders. Um, he told them that they could never return home and would wander forever, uh, which is um, what they do. They just wander. Uh, Clan Gangrel mentioned Clan Giovanni. They're, um, they're like an Italian family, uh, wealthy Italian family um, of vampires. Clan La Sombra, Clan Malclavian mentioned, Clan Nosferatu mentioned, Clan Reknos, know what they are, Clan Toreador mentioned, Clan Premier mentioned, Clan Samis, um, they're kind of like, um, Flesh Shapers, if you know what that is. Um, it's actually the clan that um, a vampire, very similar to Dracula, um, it's the one he belonged to. He might even be the founder. Clan Ventru, Ventru, uh, Clan Cappadocia. These are former clans turned uh, bloodlines. Clan Celebri, Celebri, Clan Trubruja. And they have some other names. I won't go on with this. Uh, I'm starting to tire. And I think I might end it soon. End the um, video. Not my life. I need... I will go on living. Um, but I have to eat dinner soon. And uh, I'm just prepared for that. I just need to... I really need a breather. Don't know why I'm... But I think the heat's not really knocking me around. So, um... I might just uh, shut it down. Uh... Goodbye.